Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Kamiko Spencer. And what I do here is just share the gospel of Jesus Christ to bless, empower, and encourage God's people through life's journey. And so I just, I love it. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you here. Thank all of my friends and my connections that I've made in YouTube land since I've been here. It's been amazing, a great journey sharing life, my life, as well as your lives uh, on this YouTube journey. So I'm so grateful and happy um, that we're connected. If you like my channel and my videos, please like, subscribe, hit the notification button so that you can get everything I do hot off the press as soon as I drop a, a video you'll get notification of that or when I go live. Please share, please comment, and just enjoy what God is through, doing through me. Um, and I just really love you guys and appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna say a quick prayer and jump right into this word and try not to hold you guys too long. So in the name of Jesus, God, again, we thank you for another day. Your grace, your mercy, your love, your blessings, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you don't give up on us. That your arms are wide open, waiting on us. So that you could take us up in your arms. Keep us in your grasp that no hurt, harm, or danger will come near us. And we give you the praise for that. Holy Spirit, as always, represent spirit and truth in Jesus name and help me rightly divide this word in Jesus name to God be all the glory honor and praise amen and amen yes so quickly and I'm gonna try to make this quick guys um today we're talking about sacrifices living sacrifices um in the beginning, God sacrificed his son, Jesus. He was living. And he was a sacrifice for our, our behalf <laughs> to save us, to bring us back into reconciliation with God. And so through life, as long as we're alive at some point in our life, we make sacrifices. This sacrifice that we especially need to make is unto the Most High God. The one that sacrificed for us. <laughs> we got to do him the same way. You want to get something from God? You got to give something to God. Just like he did you. God is a giver. And we should be givers. So today we're going to come from Roman, Romans chapter 12. Uh, verse 1 and 2. And I'm sure you've heard this in church. And it reads in the Amplified Version. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves, set apart as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational act of worship. That's the least we could do. <laughs> Is to present our bodies. Why? Jesus presented his body. For us. He took on punishment. And pains. And struggles. And everything that we go through. For us. He was innocent. He didn't do anything wrong. But he sacrificed himself. And so this is what we got to do. It's our reasonable, our rational act of worship. That is a form of worship by sacrificing unto God. I sacrifice my worship. I sacrifice my praise. I sacrifice my finances to make sure God's kingdom, which he doesn't need, but I'm sowing to his kingdom. That is an act of worship. And so if we want to call ourselves being Christians and follow God, we have to sacrifice. And he is asking for our bodies 
our whole self. Just like in a relationship when you want to be married and things like that. And you as a husband and wife has sacrificed um, for each other to live a life together forever. And so you may have given up on going to college. He may have given up on being a football star. You know, whatever, right? There's, there's a sacrifice. Well, God is requiring a living, whole, full body, spirit, soul, and mind sacrifice from us. God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Making sacrifices is a spiritual thing. Because it's going to touch your spirit when you give that thing up. It's going to hurt you to the core depending on how what connection you had with that thing that you're giving up unto the Lord. And so... If you're going to make a sacrifice, it should be something that touches you. It may even hurt, but it should be some type of loss that you feel when you give up something, right? Because it was a loss for God, <laughs> for his son. It was a loss, so we got to do that too. Verse 2 of Romans 12, 1 and 2 says this. And do not be conformed to this world any longer with the superficial values and custom, customs, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, focusing only on godly values and ethical attitudes, so that you may prove for yourself what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable in his plan and purpose for you. So not only does he want you to sacrifice yourself, living sacrifice, he wants you to not be so connected and caught up into what the world is doing. He said, don't be conformed to the world. Don't follow their patterns. Especially now that you're making a sacrifice unto me. I gotta let you know that you cannot roll with the world anymore. Because I am not of the world. I am of the spirit. And in order for you to follow me, it's gotta be in spirit and in truth. So you gotta make that sacrifice. Whatever it may be. Drinking too much. He wants us to be sober minded. Not just necessarily with drink, but with things that we associate ourselves with here on the earth. Things that you can get caught up in. Things that you can get on the internet and find and get, you know, read it enough, study it enough to get caught up in it, right? So, as a child of the Most High God who has decided to sacrifice the ways of old, the things they used to do, how they used to turn up, all these different things. You're, you're, you're stepping up to a new level. So you got to leave that old stuff behind. Think about it. Did all that stuff work back in the day? How did you feel? What was the outcome? 10 years ago is things better than it was 10 years ago or now as opposed to 10 years ago we have to make a sacrifice which is us our whole heart and we can't follow the patterns of the world a way that seems right to man can lead to destruction seems like this is good everybody's doing it i've seen people get success from stuff but it's not of the most high god he has a plan and purpose he's it's already been set 
It's up to us to figure out what it is he wants. If we want to be his, if we're following him. We got to make that choice. Look at your life. And I'm not saying that anyone's life here is a, a mess. But look at your life. Everything that you sacrificed before you decided to sacrifice for God. How did that situation do you? Sacrifice. And next thing you know, you're getting betrayed. You sacrifice and trying to help somebody out. You see a need and you're trying to help. And then they betray you. Or they talk about you. This is stuff that Christ experienced. And so to be Christ-like, a Christian, follower of the Most High God, you're going to have to deal with some of the things he dealt with. The difference is he gives you the power to deal or not to deal. <laughs> some battles don't need to be fought. Some battles you need to give to the Lord. And let him fight him. He said he was the one that was going to get the vengeance. He said, I will repay. Vengeance is mine. God created us holy, everybody. This is what he really meant and intended for our lives. Was to be holy and set apart. Not following the group. the click we're following his ways so that's pretty much it guys um told you I didn't want to hold you too long and I still did it um don't follow the ways of the world especially now God is doing something in this season. And he needs for us to sacrifice ourselves for his plan and purpose for us. And he said not to be conformed, not to follow the patterns of the world, but be transformed, changed. It's a process, but it can happen. Change for the better. By renewing the way you think. Whatever that, that's been taught to you all of these years. Find out who Christ is to know the truth. So you can stop thinking the way you used to think. Your mindset about a situation will be changed for the better clean heart David said creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me are you ready to present your body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is the least we could do he created us healed us granted us things that we know was done supernaturally, that we know was a miracle. It was nothing by our hands that this came to be, but the grace of God and the mercy of God. Everything he's always done. Already, constantly still doing for us. It's not going to be easy when you make the sacrifice. It wasn't for Jesus. But we got power. That's a benefit. Power. To be able to do what you have to do on a daily. God gives you power. 
Nothing else in this world gives you power. Not the power of God. Almighty power. So in Jesus' name, guys, thank you so much for listening and taking out the time to hear what I have to say. I hope you see in the spirit where the Holy Spirit was going with this. It's time to sacrifice for the Lord. And it is time to stop following the pattern of this world. Just because you are in this world, don't mean you're of this world. You were built holy, so you can't do what the world do. They come against. It's a war. A world you don't even have to fight if you just submit to God. He gonna fight them battles. What he's gonna do is give you power to endure. In Jesus' mighty name, so God bless you guys. Till the next time, I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm going to be going live soon, and I'll let you guys know um, when I do. And so we could talk, you know, and chat. <clears throat> I could check on you guys and see how you guys are doing, okay? So please like, subscribe, share my videos, and let's just go through this journey of life together in Jesus' name.